Hey guys, I'm Kent and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I've had a Honda CT70 on this channel, but it is one of my favorite mini motos. And today I have my 1969 Honda CT70 Silver Tag restoration bike. It's not quite a perfect restoration, but it is pretty close. I'm still searching for a few things to make it perfect. But uh, today I have an installation for something that I guess technically takes it a little further away from being a perfect restoration, but it's very practical and I'm excited to try it out because I've seen this problem on almost every CT70 I've ever had that uses the stock throttle uh, tube assembly that's integrated into the handlebar. And that is that when you open the throttle, it just sticks wherever it is. There's a lot of rubber on the outside here that touches the handlebar. I think some of the rubber touches on the outside here as well. Um, I've tried graphite and filing down a lot of different pieces to make it better. Some I've gotten a little better, particularly particularly when I've used an aftermarket engine with a bigger carburetor that has a bigger spring. But the spring in the stock carburetor is so anemic that it just does nothing to um, snap this back. So what I've got today is a cool solution from Josh at JE Vintage Minis. Um, I'll link below to his YouTube channel, uh, his Instagram, and the webpage where he sells this solution. But of all the YouTubers that are doing CT70 content, and there's a lot of really great ones, he does the most authentic restoration and cool solutions for bringing these bikes back to life. So um, let me show you what this kit consists of. It's this little expanding um, set of washers with a rubber um, piece in the middle to hold this assembly at the end of the throttle tube, a spring, and this 3D printed piece to, I believe, capture the thing that slides back and forth within the throttle tube. But, that's the whole assembly together, and I believe all we're doing is pushing it in here. So as the mechanism, uh, as the throttle opens, it'll compress this, forcing it to come back out, and not just relying on the spring that's inside the carburetor that, again, is way too small to um, overcome all the friction that this throttle tube has. So I'm going to first pull off the grip. Um, I usually kind of squirt a lubricant in there to pull it off, but it looked... But looking at the instructions that Josh provides, uh, he says to use uh, compressed air. So I'm gonna try that to zip this off and we'll get this in and see if it solves the problem. And so speaking to the friction that the um, grip causes, you can see without it on, it actually does snap back. So the problem is, is that the lip here on the grip comes over the edge here, which touches and again, just adds more friction than the spring can overcome. Okay, and so when placing this uh, 3D printed orange piece, make sure this groove is at the very top and it'll fit into the slot that moves up and down. And then again, the flat side in so that you just have a little bit of spring. I put a little bit of very light oil on this rubber piece just to help finesse it in. And you want to get it all the way in so that this nut is flush or even inside the edge of the throttle tube. Otherwise, this nut or bolt is going to uh, rub against the uh, rubber grip and just add more friction. Let's see if I can tap it with a rubber mallet. few zaps to expand it and wow that snaps super quickly now and the tension isn't too hard either it's not making it too heavy of a throttle but wow that snaps all right let's get the grip back on and see if it uh, can overcome the friction of the uh, grip on the sides but as quickly as that snaps back I'm sure it'll be fine so I like to use just hairspray it adds some lubricant and then it's nice and sticky to help keep it in place. All right, so a very easy and quick installation. Again, thanks to Josh at JE Vintage Minis. I'll link to his social media content as well as his website where you can uh, buy this very inexpensive solution that uh, looks 
uh, OEM, but makes the throttle tube much more effective. Anyway, thank you everybody very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and keep on building.